right? Now we're shooting P30L in 9mm by Heckler and Pope. There you go. It's an excellent gun. I had a I had a trigger job on this gun. So now the trigger is uh, smooth. It has no uh, It almost has no uptake. As soon as you just depress it a little, it just goes off. So it's an excellent gun now. Well, after it was before, but after the trigger, it's unreal. So I'm shooting 150 grain federal ammo. And to load the mags, I'm using the, uh, the Lula loader. And it loads pretty much uh, all the mags you can you can imagine. So, let me just uh, look real quick. Let me just show you. See, piece of cake. Look, we're talking real quick. So easy. Sorry. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. I love this thing. Here we go. Okay. I'm still shooting that uh, orange square. Or attempting to anyway. So let's do one mag in the orange square. So by the way, on this gun, you can shoot a double action, a single action. This is the decocker. There's no safety on it. So, so you see decocks, even though there's one in the chamber, and now it's caught, so you can carry it like this. So the first pull is around eight or nine pounds. So let me just show you. So I'm dragging. There you go. And then it cocks, and the second one is around three pounds. So let me try this again. To uh, shoot the mag, it's a little different. You have a pedal here on the bottom, and it's ambidextrous. You can do it from this side or this side. Loads the same, and you got the the slide stop here or here. You can operate it either way. So let's try it again. Yeah, that's fun. Up, down. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, there we go. With this gun, it's even better than 1911, in my opinion, with the, uh, with the trigger job. By the way, if you're curious, the trigger job was done by Bill Springfield. All I had to do was send him the lower. And that's all I had to do. And he did it in three days and shipped it back to me and the gun is one of my most favorite guns now because the trigger he polished it he put lighter springs in it and the trigger is uh, basically not mushy or anything like that it's very smooth and uh, as soon as you depress it it just goes off i mean it's it's basically uh, a similar like a 1911 just a little more uh I don't know, pull. It's not as uh, crisp, I guess, but in this particular gun, you can't make it very crisp. 
or S-Crisp as in 1911 because it's a double action gun. So he said if you're gonna, if you're gonna make the trigger with no uptake, then it'll ruin the, uh, the double action, single action uh, uh, part of the gun. So I just said make it as smooth as possible and uh, that's what he did and I think it, it, it's one of my favorite guns to shoot. So I have a couple of uh, rounds here. See I got the... Uh, this is a uh, American Eagle. Also I'm shooting 147 grain. See flat, uh, flat nose and my regular one of course. I got my federal uh, regular 150 grade, and they 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 both shoot great and really I'm shooting let's say to the target it's uh, I think it's 15 yards 12 yards or something like that. I really don't know and to that orange uh, ball or uh, square uh, right now maybe it's 20 yards I'm just ballparking. So, it's a lot of fun to shoot that thing, and uh, it's very safe. This uh, this thing was purchased specifically for shooting. It uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's basically like soft rubber with plastic, so it lasts over a thousand yards. I mean, a thousand rounds, and you can shoot pretty much all day long, and it bounces around. It's a lot of fun. So, while I'm shooting my pistols. Let's see how he does. There you go. Wasn't that fun or what? Yes. Okay, thank you guys.